I'd like to welcome you to our virtual presentation entitled Investigating the Effects of Online Student Agendas on Academic Progress. My name is Patrice Petroff. I'm an associate professor at Queen's University of Charlotte and my partner in this experience is Miss Stacy Bush. She is an avid teacher and an English teacher at a large urban high school in Charlotte, North Carolina. I just wanted to give you a brief background of how this project actually began. In 2014, Reg Gabriel, who is the CEO of School Aid, volunteered to do a presentation and talk to Miss Bush's high school students. After the presentation, Miss Bush was really excited about the opportunities and the use of school aid with her students, and she contacted me. So we got together and have been working on the project for about a year now. School Aid is a program that offers study skills, organization of their homework and test preparation as well. It provides them with a calendar and there's also a space where they can research colleges and house that information, so planning their long-term goals as well as their short-term academic goals. There is a component of it, and we'll take a look at the parent or caregiver advocates and then advocates of teachers or educators that they have um, selected to be part of their team. To get started, the students are asked to build a profile and it's based on their talents and skills and their passions outside of school, school as well. We think that's really important to look at them holistically. The program uses the Raise C, which looks at the realistic, artistic, investigative, social, enterprising, and conventional aspects of each of the students. So once they enter that information, they have a profile that's generated and then that is used as a foundation for their school aid profile. As I mentioned, there is an advocate piece to it, which we're really interested in seeing how that um, impacts the student's success. And um, the student has an opportunity to select both an advocate in school and someone outside of the school. It doesn't necessarily have to be a parent or a caregiver. It can be someone who is committed to supporting this student through the process. That information is also entered into their profile. When that information is entered in their profile, the advocates are then provided with access to certain um, progress monitoring that um, is included in the program. So when the student looks at their dashboard, um, these four components are there. They have their backpack, which has their um, calendar and scheduling of their test scores, their course loads, and their coursework. Also, they have established and set their target goals, long-term and short-term. It also includes their current classes and their goals for those classes the grades that have been submitted for their assignments in those classes, and then the incentives or rewards that have been predetermined by the teacher and or the advocates. It also has a component. They have a calendar. Um, they can look at their goals and grades. They can also keep track of their incentives and rewards with their advocates and establish deadlines and 
goals. Another valuable piece to school aid is the opportunity for students to explore potential colleges and careers. So it provides them with, some, with a place to house the information and um, explore options for the future. And I realize we're doing this virtually, so we won't have an opportunity to stop and turn and talk or chat about, you know, would this program benefit you or have you used any similar programs that you found worked well? You may have some questions that you would like to ask us, but you can contact us. The information for both school aid and Stacy and I will be on the last slide. The timeline for our work began in the fall of 2014 when the AVID freshmen were introduced and then the AVID sophomores were also introduced to using the program. And that led into a soft rollout in the spring of 2014 with those students. Our goal is that all students by spring of 2016 or at the latest fall of 2016 will be using the school aid program at Stacy's school. Once we do an overview and introduce the students to the program, they are asked to complete a profile You'll see here there were 220 students registered in 2014, and we had complete profiles for 194 of those students. That didn't necessarily include both types of advocates, so the teacher or school-related advocate and someone from home or the community. Of those 220 students, 92.4 did complete the parent advocate component of the program. And of those, 70.2 students used the program consistently throughout the semester. Of the 220, 132 of the students who were registered also had completed and selected school advocates. So of those 132 students with advocates, there were approximately 103 students who consistently used the platform throughout the semesters. Stacy and I are really interested in that component and to look at over a period of time how having advocates both inside the school and out in the community or in their homes um, will affect the students long term academic success. After the first semester with the 220 registered students, we wanted to ask them how things were going. So out of the 220, 170 said that they were motivated and that it was a positive thing to use school aid to reach their goals. 54 of them did not feel that way. In the future, we will gather more information to work towards a higher success rate. Another component of the school aid platform is to assist the students in organizing their short-term goals, long-term goals, as well as making sure that they are on track in all of their courses and with their assignments. The students found it was really easy, or at least 178 of them found it was easy to work with school aid and kind of navigate through the site to assist them in doing so. When we looked at the use of the calendar, it was 
120 students said yes, they like to use the calendar, and 100 said they didn't. Um, we'll have some further conversations and really ask some questions about why and why not. Maybe some modifications to the calendar can be made, or maybe they're just not individuals who like to use the calendar. As we move forward with our experience using the school aid platform, we need to make sure that we can effectively get the teachers to get, really get involved, um, either as those who will be overseeing the implementation or as potential advocates for the students. Um, we've identified some ways to reach out and do the training. We'll do those through the um, AVID PLC, the English and Tech PLC, also um, repeatedly focusing on it in the school newsletter, as well as full staff meetings during this school year. Another key role in the effectiveness of the school aid platform is the inclusion of parents, caregivers, and important people in the students' lives outside of the school. So we have and will continue to inform parents by sending home information, as well as including it in newsletters on the teachers' wiki pages and during open houses. Another critical component of the school aid platform is the role of student ambassadors in the initial implementation. We thought about that it might be difficult for teachers to sit down and work with students, establishing their profile and kind of becoming familiar with the program. So it's our goal to establish a collaborative effort between teacher ed candidates at the university and the high school students. During our first implementation, we asked students if they had anything they wanted to say about school aid and Karina O oh said, my GPA has gone up from 3.1 to 3.4, all from the help of organization from school aid. Chris W. remarked, my coursework has improved due to using the tools on school aid. We hope that these trends continue and that we can work diligently to have it have a positive impact on more students. We also felt that it was important for the students to establish relationships with individuals outside of the school and in the community. So um, School Aid is partnered with businesses, um, some other schools, churches and nonprofits to align for incentives and or to be advocates for the individuals who have completed profiles. There are some other people who are also using School Aid and you can see the list there. We're hoping that they will also provide individuals with information once they have completed their experiences. During this semester, teacher ed candidates from Queens will be learning about the program and then working with the high school students to assist them in their use of school aid. During the school year, we will continue to gather information on the effectiveness of school aid with our students. We'll also be asking them about the specific components that we shared earlier. We hope that by spring of 2016, it's having a positive impact on more students and their success, both inside and outside of the classroom. I wanted to thank you for listening to my presentation on school aid, investigating the effects of online student agendas on academic progress. If you're interested or have questions regarding the school aid platform, 
the contact information is there. Also, I've provided my information and Ms. Bush's as well. Thank you and have a great day.